let's start with the challenge, the challenge of mass learning. It's when students try to fit all their learning tasks over one extended study session, like cramming before the night of an exam. Sounds familiar? We've all done it. The truth is, it does get the job done. But when we engage in mass learning, we often feel overwhelmed, stressed, and burned out. What's more, we also forget most of the content that we memorized because mass learning and long-term retention aren't really best friends. Despite these proven disadvantages, students continue to engage in mass learning habits and they don't interact enough with the learning content. This issue is amplified in online courses, negatively impacting long-term learning. I focused on this challenge in my doctoral research. I started to wonder if microlearning could help. Microlearning is an instructional approach in which learners are exposed to learning content in short bursts or small bites. Microlearning is what the learners are doing knowingly or unknowingly when faced with a gap in knowledge. Remember the last time when you didn't know something and you quickly looked it up? That's a form of microlearning. It's a habit now. For my research, I wanted to explore whether and how we might be able to harness this habit and design our university level online courses to optimize the potential benefits of microlearning. When done well, microlearning also aligns with how learning happens in our brain. You see, our working memory, popularly known as short-term memory, has a limited capacity for new incoming information. Too much information all at once can overload it. How about we learn in small bites? So what did I do? I developed a model called Midweek Micro Lesson. I designed and infused learning content as a micro lesson in an online course to break the mass learning habit. Think of it as a content-filled hello midweek with the intent to encourage the learners to log in and interact with the micro lesson. These micro lessons were meant to be informative, fun, and non-threatening. I carefully designed each micro lesson following the evidence-informed science of learning and presented them using a variety of multimedia tools. The hope was that the students would in interact with the micro lessons, and they did. 100% of the students watched all the micro lessons. 70% interactions with the micro lessons happened within 48 hours of posting, thereby breaking the mass learning habit. Students also reported that the micro lessons inspired them to engage even more with the content of the course. Now that's a win. Why does my research matter? Because learning matters. It's what helps to adapt, grow, thrive in an ever changing world. And all too often the hard work of learning and teaching gets forgotten too quickly through mass learning. Therefore, it's vital that we continue to explore ways to make learning effective and enjoyable for everyone. Thank you. Mm -hmm.